hi guys welcome to the fourth video of this series and in this video we will be mainly focusing on the implementation part of uh, fenwick tree or as you may call it a binary index tree so let's uh, directly proceed so first we will discuss the implementation part of the update function so for the update function we have uh, two arguments one is i which is the index uh, to be updated so here uh, you should note that the update function is necessarily a increment function. So basically, if we have ai initially, and if the update function has uh, arguments i comma val, then ai will be uh, will become ai plus val. So this is the uh, update function. So it's essentially a increment function. So basically, let us see what the update function exactly is. So now, uh, as you already saw. Uh, we have each index part of some ranges. So now let us take for example i is equal to 3 and uh, let us uh, say that we have uh, array length as say 7. Okay, so now what ranges is the index 3 part of? So uh, we saw the table earlier. So for i is equal to 3, i is, uh, i is equal to 3 is obviously part of a uh, bit of 3, right? because uh, the last set bit uh, is zero the zero is set bit and so it is part of bit of three uh, it will also be part of bit of four right because bit of four includes uh, the range from one to four right and it will be part of bit of eight but since the array size is seven there will be no bit of eight so basically uh, i is equal to three is part of bit of three and bit of four so how do we update both so uh, when we update when we say that we have to update i comma val we have to add val to both of these ranges right uh, just adding to one of them uh, won't suffice so we have to add val to both of these ranges so let us see a short pseudo code so pseudo code pseudo code so what is the pseudo code that uh, we have the size of the array with us so what we will do is while i is less than or equal to size of array what we are going to do we are going to add a bit of i plus equal to val and now we have to uh, first our i was i was three right now we have to jump to four so how we will jump to 4 so let us see the binary representation of 3 so 3 can be represented as 0 1 1 so here to jump to the next set bit what we will do is we will just add the rightmost set bit or the least significant bit so uh, how do we calculate the least significant bit so okay let's discuss that later how do we calculate so the least significant bit of this is 1 so just 2 plus 1 and we have 1 0 0 which is equal to 4 so here add least uh, or add lsb to i and then again we proceed so here uh, the lsb uh, after we add lsb to i then i becomes equal to 4 now uh, again uh, here we have 100 zero zero. now if we add the lsb of this so the lsb of this is 4 itself so if we add a 4 to this it will become 8 right so now if you see 8 is greater than size so the loop will just terminate over here so uh, our pseudocode is correct that bit of i will just get updated for the ranges bit of 3 and bit of 4 so this is the pseudocode for the point update now let us see uh, the pseudocode for the uh, range function so for range sum so for range sum we already saw that we were removing the rightmost set bit so here if you see we are adding the rightmost set bit and now here we have to remove the rightmost set bit so let us see what we have to do over here so let us say you have i is equal to say 5 over here so the binary representation of 5 is nothing but 101 so now over here what we have to do while i greater than 0 so we have to keep doing this until there are no bits left so now here just remove the rightmost set bit 
so uh, after uh, removing the rightmost set bit so we have our res equal to 0 so res plus equal to bit of i right now remove remove right most set bit so after we remove the rightmost set bit it will become 100 zero zero. so uh, again so first uh, res will be equal to bit of 5 and then uh, we will add res plus equal to bit of 4 and after we remove the only set bit it will become 0 hence the loop will end so basically uh, we got our answer and you can easily see this is correct because uh, for bit of 5 so the range for 5 is just uh, 5 itself and the range for 4 it is from 1 to 4 so uh, this is correct now now let us see how to calculate the lsb so how uh, how are we going to perform the removing the rightmost set bit and uh, adding the rightmost set bit so let us see how to calculate the lsb now over here uh, you need to uh, know some bitwise manipulation techniques so say uh, you have a number x now what is the uh, so let us represent x something like this so we have x as a 1 b so over here this one let this one be the rightmost set bit okay then b will be have to uh, b will have to be a segment of zeros so b will be all zeros right and a will be uh ones and zeros so it, it can be anything so a will be ones and zeros b, uh, so this is the rightmost set bit and b will be only zeros now let us see how we can calculate minus x so minus x is nothing but negation of x plus one let us see what is negation of x so negation of x is nothing but all uh, so a 1 b okay so a has ones and zeros so one zero it is one and this is all zeros so negation of x in uh, when we calculate negation of x what we do is we invert all ones to zeros and all zeros to ones so this will just become so zero one zero something like this uh, just the reverse of this this will become zero and this will become all ones okay now when we add one to it all these ones turn to zeros and this zero becomes one so this remains the same so zero one zero one something which is exactly the uh, reverse of a so you can actually write this as negation of a and this will become one and again zero 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 okay so essentially did you spot something that if x is of the form a 1 b and then minus x will be of the form negation of a 1 b right so now as b are all zeros therefore if we do x and negation uh, x and minus x then we will get so this will cancel out itself right because they are exactly inverse of uh, so they are exactly inverted bits so these two will cancel out each other so the only thing that remains is the rightmost set bit because b is zero so our answer will be one and then b so we get the rightmost set bit so let us try uh, this on uh, some example where say x is equal to say uh, 1010 so 1010 as you can see it is uh, the value 10 so now let us first calculate negation of x so negation of x is nothing but 0101 and if you add 1 to this uh, so negation of x plus 1 it will become 0110 right now if you do so uh, negation of x plus 1 is nothing but minus x so if you do x and minus x we get 1010 and 0110 so the and of this is nothing but 0010 so the answer we get is equal to 2 and if you check the rightmost set bit over here is this so the this is correct so now we have seen the algorithm to calculate the lsb 
now uh, everything is done now let us directly proceed to the c++ implementation so let us start uh, with the c++ implementation so here uh, as you can see uh, i am going to implement a class uh, and then i'm going to write all the functions inside this class so first uh, we will write uh, our two variables which is int size and the vector in which we are going to store our bit so it is int size and vector in bit now first we will initialize our fan victory so just void init n int n then uh, we will write uh, so now we want one based indexing over here so whatever uh, array size that we got input we will just uh, like we will just assign n plus one memory to it so bit dot assign size comma zero so all elements now are initialized to zero so the next function that we will see is void update now void update will take two arguments one is int i and the other is int v so v is the value that we want to uh, uh, that we want to increment in all its ranges seeing this so update i comma v so uh, we saw in the pseudo code that i comma v so here uh, basically what we are doing is that till we want to update uh, so we want to increment the value v in all the ranges where i is present so where i so let's just write while i less than equal to size what we will do is bit of i plus equal to v and then uh, as we saw we are just going to uh, add i uh, so we are just going to add the lsb to i so we already saw how we calculate the lsb so lsb is nothing but i and minus i so this is our update function done now the next thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to write the sum function so sum function will just have one argument which is int x so let us see what was our pseudo code for the sum function so here for the sum function uh, we did while x uh, greater than zero what we did we added a uh, bit of x to the result and we just removed the last set bit so we will just uh, simply implement this so while x what we do uh, so just uh, first let's initialize int uh, res equal to zero so while x uh, we will res plus equal to bit of x and x uh, minus equal to x and minus x so this is done we have uh, just subtracted the last set bit and we will keep doing this until x reaches zero and here we will just return res so this is our fenwick tree function done and you uh, you are actually seeing how easy it is to implement uh, ad, like apart from the segmentary because segmentary was uh, pretty tough and since it's recursive you have to pay extra attention so this is just a iterative uh, algorithm and yeah this is the implementation done now you can uh, write the main function so now let us try and build the fenwick tree so it is not a big deal so let us first uh, take input so a of n plus one let me just yeah so a of n plus one and here uh, we will take input so for int i is equal to zero i less so we are following one based indexing so i is equal to one i less than equal to n i plus plus so c in a of i and now what we are going to do over here first let us initialize the fenwick tree so fenwick ft and we will just uh, call ft dot init n now uh, our fenwick tree is initialized with size n plus one now here let let just uh, let us update the fan victory so ft dot update i comma ai and this is done now since all our functions are uh, following one based indexing or uh, this also follows one based indexing so we have already built the fan victory now just uh, let us take input the number of queries and just a minute let us take input the number of queries and doing while q minus minus so here we will just take int 
type so let us uh, say that type one query is update query so if uh, type equal to one then we will be taking two inputs so one input is the index and the second input is the value so scene index value and now uh, what we are going to do we are just going to update so update index comma val and the type 2 query is if type equal to 2 then we are just going to take 1 because uh, as you know uh, fenwick tree only gives us the uh, value of the function from 1 to x so here uh, we are going to see out ft dot sum and yeah x so this is uh, this is our whole code and i hope you understood the code and it's not really that hard okay so yeah uh, let me know if you have any doubts and thank you and this is the last video of the series so yeah thank you